So in July of 2022, I was the heaviest I had ever been in my life, struggling to figure out which direction to go with my career, and overall, quite unhappy. Today, I am now an avid cyclist attempting to climb up the category ranks in the United States racing scene. This is the story of how I went from a couch potato to an above average cyclist in a little over a year. So let's rewind to August 2nd, 2022. I got a new road bike that would change my life forever. I got a giant TCR Advanced Pro Disc 2 from the pro's closet. Now this didn't change my life in like some metaphorical way. It actually changed the direction of my life with this purchase. My original plan was to ride the bike to lose weight. So at the time I was using the bike as a way to burn more calories, therefore allowing me to be in more of a caloric deficit. The focus wasn't on performance for the very first couple months. Like I said, I was just using the bike to lose weight. But then in October, everything changed. The client I was working my day job for at the time, NorCal Cycling's Jeff Linder, decided to launch Couch to Crit season two. This was a series where he brought athletes from couch fitness to criterium success. The idea was that he was going to train me to attempt to win a cat five crit by the end of the year. I was incredibly keen on this idea. I was already getting wrapped up sprinting for local KLMs all over town on Strava and was starting to shift my mentality from just losing weight to also focusing on that performance. By the end of December 2022, going into January of 2023, I had lost 70 pounds going from 260 pounds to 190. If you want more details, you can watch this video here on the weight loss. I would preface that I didn't really do this in a healthy manner. I don't recommend doing it in that way. I ate at way too low of a caloric deficit and probably got lucky things turned out the way they did. But I digress. I explained it more in this video here if you want to see. Also in December, I took my very first FTP test. For those of you that don't know what an FTP is, it stands for functional threshold power. Basically means how much power, measured in watts, that you can do for an hour on a bike. It's like the cyclist version of a batting average or an ERA in baseball terms. My FTP in December was 256 watts. You calculate this FTP by doing a 20 minute test. You do as much power as you can at a sustained effort for that 20 minutes and then you take 95% of that number and it gives you an FTP. Like I said, mine during this first test was an FTP of 256 watts. This is a below average FTP given my weight. But I was excited to start structured training and see if I could take this number higher before my first race, which was scheduled in February of last year, 2023. So here we are, the start of 2023. And this is where I decided to do something a bit crazy. I had befriended one of Jeff's teammates at the time by the name of Jackson Duncan. And he and I came up with the idea to ride one mile for every like of a vlog that I posted on my old YouTube channel. And the catch was that we only had one week to complete the miles. Spoiler alert, it got like 3,000 likes. It, it went crazy. Long story short, we came up with this whole plan to achieve this goal between us and Camus on the channel. It was honestly a lot of fun. And during this week, I ended up riding my first ever century. That's 100 miles for us here in the United States. And this was also by far the biggest week I had ever had up to this point on a bike totaling roughly 25 hours and 455 miles for that entire week. This challenge was an unintentional base training that I believe really actually helped me have a solid foundation for 2023. But like I said, it was unintentional. I was still very new, didn't really have a great understanding of base training, and I'm still learning a lot about training even to this day. But now I know a little bit better that early months of the season, like December and January, pro cyclists will ride tons of miles in zone two, which is exactly what we did. For you guys that don't know what zone two is, it's basically quote unquote, easy riding. And they do this in order to build a good base to build their fitness on. It gives you a good foundation so that everything doesn't come crashing down. And you're able to build on top of that base to achieve higher peaks and higher performance. However, I don't necessarily recommend going about base training the way that I did this year. Like I said, I definitely just threw myself in the deep end, but luckily I did this week with Jackson Duncan and having him a professional coach and an ex-professional cyclist by my side. And we made sure that I went about it in a way that was safe. After this week, Jackson really took my training program into his own hands and helped me navigate where to go next training wise in order to get ready for the first race and the many more that I had planned after that chasing that first win. So this takes us to February, 2023. 
My first race, the first ever race I did was cherry pie. It was a technical criterium here in Northern California, and I ended up in a breakaway with two other riders and was able to sprint for my very first win. I was ecstatic, literally over the moon. I, I can still feel the goosebumps to this day from that very first race. However, the day didn't stop there. They let me upgrade to the next category on the spot and raced a Cat 4 race later that day. And I ended up second getting beat by a guy who sent a late race attack. But needless to say, I was absolutely hooked on Criterium Racing. A week after my first race, I took my second FTP test. And my second FTP was 352 watts for 20 minutes, giving me a 334 watt FTP. I seriously was stoked. My FTP had gone up drastically just by riding and following the loose training advice Jackson was giving me. And I had also lost a bit more weight this time and I was roughly around 180 pounds or 81 kilos. So this put me right at above average, maybe slightly above for watt per kilo, which is your FTP divided by your weight in kilograms. My watt per kilo at this point was roughly 4.1. Again, putting me right at average, maybe slightly above. Guys in the world tour can get to six, even seven watts per kilo. So that puts into perspective kind of where I was at. So what was I doing for training? Through the early months of this year, I raced quite a bit with some success moving up to the cat threes and putting in hours of training in between each race. What exactly was I doing? Well, a lot of my training was racing at this point. I would do one practice race during the week and then one to two races during the weekend, equaling roughly two to three days of hard riding during a week of training. And then the other days were filled with a lot of zone two training with one day, one, one or two days mixed in there for an off day. The reason I raced so much is because one of my biggest flaws on the bike at this point and still to this day is definitely racecraft and bike handling so the more races the better because that'll help me learn and that's the best way to learn is by doing it so fast forward with this recipe to may 5th this was a race series that i finally feel like everything was clicking i was guest riding for the team the velo kings and the name of the series that we were riding at was the Golden State Race Series. I was racing in the Cat 3s and it started with a winding TT on a bike path, followed by a crit the next day, and then finally a circuit race on Sunday. Everything was pancake flat and literally perfect for my riding profile. It really couldn't have gone much better. I got second the first day on my first ever TT race and I was over the moon. Again, huge shout out to Mark Tucker for coaching me through that. I then was able to secure first place in the crit the following day. This was mostly due to the teammates on the team that I was guest riding for, the Velo Kings. Again, huge shout out to Mitch, Cole, and BJ. They rode in an incredible race and allowed me to get in great position to sprint for the win. And then Sunday, I rolled into second place in the circuit as this super talented junior racer at the time, Aiden Fraley, was up the road to get the solo victory, but it wasn't enough to close the time gap. And I ended up taking home the yellow jersey in that series. From here on, I did a lot of local racing and training. I didn't win any other shanks and races this year, but I was able to scrape together enough podiums to secure my Cat 2 upgrade going into my first ever international race, which was the Tour of Tahiti. And again, huge shout out to Performance Bikes for flying out Mitch and I for that really, really awesome experience. This is when I started this channel, EJ's Training Camp. And again, a huge thank you to all you guys for the support on this. I, I really can't believe that we're almost at 8,000 subs in, in the time that we've had this channel. It's truly mind blowing and it seriously is all thanks to you guys. So thank you. But if you wanna watch the recap of the Tahiti trip, there are vlogs of every single day on this channel. So I highly recommend because it really was a fun experience, but wait to finish this video and then go check those out. But there are some numbers that I wanna note leading up to the training of Tahiti. I achieved some goals that I was quite proud of going into this race. I really started to fall in love with training at this point, almost more than race days themselves, which is kind of good because I feel like enjoying the process is something that can get you a long way in a sport like this where training is 90% of it. There's something about pushing yourself to hit number goals that really soothes my brain. So with Coach Jackson coaching Mitch and I going into Tahiti, he had us do a bunch of power tests. In these tests, there was a 12 minute power test. This isn't your standard 20 minute FTP test, 
like we talked about before, but some coaches believe that 92% of your 12 minute power is also an accurate way to track your FTP. I was able to do 431 watts for 12 minutes during my test, giving me an FTP of 396. I was stoked. <laughs> I was also weighing in at 175 pounds or 79 kilos at this time, give or take, depending on how much I ate the night before. I was really, really proud of this test, given a year before I could barely even hold 300 watts. For 12 minutes so in watt per kilo terms this cracked me over the five watt per kilo according to this ftp test and again i was over the moon but after that tahiti race which again was truly an amazing experience the season was starting to come to an end i did one more gravel race with my teammate jordan our buddy matt levi harrison derek lance and jacob we had such a fun crew again huge shout out to all you guys there's a video up on the channel if you want to watch that the bovine classic Go check it out. It was a really fun one. I then went to LA for a little training camp, hung out with my buddy Mitch. It was a fun time. Biking took me all over the place this year and it truly was amazing. But to wrap up the year, I started riding with my new coach who was local to me, Tyler Williams. I also got an amazing offer to race for performance bikes alongside teammate Jordan for next year this year really couldn't have wrapped up in a better way. I've been training quite hard to get a good base under me for next year with Tyler's guidance, and I am incredibly excited to see where we go. As for an FTP update, because I also feel like that was part of the story that you guys were following along with, I am training at an FTP of 375 for this off season. I will also be taking a test here soon and making a video of that for you guys so we can see exactly what that new 20 minute power number is. I don't know if I'm ready to suffer, but we're gonna give it our all. And truly Tyler has been nothing but amazing to me. Having a support going into next year makes me really, really excited. Let's get after it in 2024 and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for an amazing 2023. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments down below and I will do my best to answer. Catch y'all soon. Peace.